Good day, Happy Traveler 7 Commons Travel Agency here today talking about shore excursions in Alisund, Norway. Brought to you by Norwegian Cruise Line. So if you're watching this, you're one of two people. One, you booked a cruise or you're thinking about booking a cruise and you'd like to see what options are available. The purpose of this is to show you exactly that. And what I like about Norwegian Cruise Lines is they give you an awful lot of information. Start at the top here. How about the Land of Trolls? For $219 per adult, $219 for kids. You can spend eight hours, you'll get a meal, and you're going to see, well, if trolls didn't make that, I don't know exactly who did. But uh, you'll see all the sights that there is to see there. You'll enjoy a nice, comfortable meal. And uh, regarding mobility concerns, this tour is too long for children. So this children get bored, they get whiny. And if you suffer from vertigo, you may not want to purchase this. As you can see, the steep terrain requires... Uh, a, a little bit of some perception there. So if you have those folks in your party with some mobility concerns, they advise not to purchase this. Uh, nothing worse than spending money on stuff you can't enjoy. How about a city highlights tour? Six and a half hours long. This is another one of the featured excursions. 279 for adults and kids alike. Six and a half hours long. There's some limited accessibility available. Uh, in the event there's still snow up in the mountain, it can be slippery. So watch your step and bring a windbreaker. Went to the top of Pikes Peak one time in the middle of summer. It was nice down in Colorado Springs. It was a very cold at the top of the mountain. I learned something that day. Uh, you'll take a gondola up to 3,400, well, 3,418 3, feet above sea level, and it's a UNESCO World Heritage location. So if you're racking up collecting the World Heritage sites, you're doing good. How about a Fjord Cruise? There is uh, 179 for an adult, 179 for kids, four hours long, and you are going to go see everything that there is to see. Three to four hours depends on the boat used for that day, so it could be four hours, could be three hours, and you can take self. I mean, that is a heck of a picture. Imagine being immersed into that experience. How about the highlights of the region? 109 for an adult, 109 for kids, three hours long. Participants got to be able to walk 0.34 miles, 549 meters. It's measured asphalt and gravel surfaces, some inclines. Walking at the museum is at your discretion. And some of the door openings are low. So if you're tall, don't want to get a bump on your noggin. How about an Atlantic Ocean Park and viewpoint? Three hours long, 119 for an adult, 119 for kids. And you will see, well, sea lions and other sea life that is available. No noted mobility concerns are provided. You want to see a lighthouse? Outer Islands, three hours long, one review. Let's see what they said here. Well, there's one review that was done, but no details are provided. Uh, the lighthouse is 0.12 miles, 200 meters of walking on gravel. And then there's 87 optional steps if you wish to go to the top of the lighthouse. So if you're collecting lighthouses, pictures of you in front of lighthouses, that is for you. City Walk in an Art Nouveau Center, two and a half hours long, $89 for an adult. And if you just, it's two and a half hours of walking on asphalt cobblestone. So just make sure if you, uh, you're, you have folks in your party that do not have walking difficulties. Rib Ride, Rapid Inflatable Boat Adventure, $279 for an adult, and it's an extreme adventure, two hours long. Uh, got to be at least 12 years of age to participate, uh, and you got to be able to walk 300 meters, 0.19 miles to the staging area and enjoy, uh, doesn't it, whee, you know, that looks like a lot of fun. All right, so that. These are the options available at this port of call. Hope you found something you'd like to see. And until the next video, I hope you travel safely.